Hi there everyone, I'm meteorologist Greg D. A special geek fix for you today. It's my review of the Google so I had a Note 7, lost it for obvious reasons. I've been looking for a replacement, and here are some options that I've been working on. Two phones and that I've been reviewing recently. This one, the Google Pixel. There it is. This is a new one released by Google. Two options of this one, 5.5 inch and a 5 inch model. It is a nice phone. It is basically the Android equivalent of the iPhone. Google has simplified the software. They made the design very easy to handle. And yes, it does look like an iPhone. And I don't think that that was actually uh, by coincidence. I think they were really trying to go towards that iPhone look here. All right, so what do we got in terms of specs? Uh, the phone, yes, is made by Google. And it's really all about the camera here. Take a look at this photo that I took. This is from Lakeview Cemetery uh, just about a week week ago. Uh, these, this uh, right here, the uh, gravestone was absolutely in the shadow. The back the sun and uh, the field in the back was fully lit and look what the phone did. Both are perfectly exposed. That is very rare to certainly don't see that very often. A very good HDR algorithm in there really creating some incredible exposure. When you're taking a picture like this, what I did here is I clicked on the screen before I took the photo on the gravestone the sky turned white, blue completely. Then when I actually took the photo, the sky just magically reappeared. Just incredible HDR in this thing, and it really does work well, an amazing device. Night photos, take a look at this. No problem here either, great nighttime imagery, great exposure from light to dark. This was at North Coast Harbor, an absolutely amazing image there. There's also video that is involved here and some incredible video stabilization. So uh, what you're looking here at, at here is a video comparison between the iPhone 6 and the Pixel in terms of their image stabilization. I'll see if I can make it work here. I'm going to play this video from YouTube and I really want you to compare how these two look. Just take a look at this. So the one on the right is the Pixel video. The one on the left shot on iPhone 6. I'm walking around our newsroom, the station here, and you can already see the quality difference, especially as I make the turn here or walking down the hallway. Look how steady the Pixel shot is and how jumpy and jerky the iPhone is. The images are really incredible. It looks like the Pixel image is on a steady cam. Just an amazing image there, an amazing stabilization provided by that phone. So it really does make things like shooting video very, very easy. And I love to see that uh, makes, uh, makes uh, shooting video and of course, uh, taking pictures, uh, just a breeze here on uh, the Pixel itself. Uh, the phone is expensive now. It does start at $649 and can go up to $849 in price, depending on whether you get the 32 or 128 gigabyte versions. I would strongly suggest the 128. It will fill up fast. And if you want to get it from a carrier, the only carrier this is available on, unfortunately, Verizon. So if you like Verizon, you have Verizon, easy to get. Otherwise, you're going to have to get it directly from Google. And by the way, all those photos that you take, lifetime backup of the full quality photos for free just because you've got a Pixel. So it is the Google Pixel available on Verizon or from the Google. Just Google it. You'll find a link to the phone right there on Google.com.